We have. Well, we've got one of the Birmingham, so he's just coming from Little Gowrie, heading up towards us. There we go. It's just starting to come through. Now, I'm not sure which Birmingham it is yet because, as you can see, it's still quite obscured and quite far away. But there we go. Now, the vehicle that's there, we actually just bumped into them, and I told them that I, we had heard a lion roaring here and that he should go and check there, and so he quickly called me back to tell me, yes, well, we found your lion. It's right here. So awesome that it's coming north towards us now and we were talking about just now why the lions haven't spent any time here or we were saying that the lions haven't been here but they actually have the males the, the birmingham have been in and out of juma all the time the reason why they're not staying for long periods of time is because there's no females for them to settle with look at that there he goes he's coming down this path straight towards us aren't they looking fantastic in this morning light look how big their manes have gotten massive you're looking very good, my boy. Now, like I say, I'm not 100% sure who it is just yet. I'm sure I'll, lots of you will know already who this is. But it's amazing just to see how big they've gotten. It looks a bit like... Ooh, I could be wrong. Oh, my boy. Yeah, they are looking so good. It's been a long, 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 long time since I've seen the Birmingham. So to see one like this is just so cool. And the fact that they're coming north into Juma is just the best, best thing. And he's just stopped behind us now. Sorry, Craig, I will move for you now. It's not easy for Craig because he walked literally right under Craig's backside and now is heading further north. I wonder where he's going because he's definitely got his nose down and scenting and sniffing. So I reckon he might be heading... And we had audio for lions during the night. So I wonder if it wasn't maybe the other males that were around and he's now trying to find them. I'm going to just try go around, Craig, so to make it a little bit easier for you. So that you don't have to worry about aerials and varying other things and all of that nonsense. Thanks, Sean. You too, man. <laughs> so grand. Me because it was coming north and I told him where to go. And this is on Juma again for the first time in a long time. Now, the reason why the, the males, as I, let me get back into this because I keep getting sidetracked, but the males are not are transiting through here because this more time in the south. Now that they've got cubs, they are hanging around in a certain area where they generally have their cubs normally. Then you've got the Nkuma Pride, which is being shifted into some Mambili and Elephant Plains, and that is because of the pressure that the Torchwood Pride is putting on them in Biffles Hook and Manuleti. And so we've ended up with a situation where they've split away from sort of Juma, and the males then just transition through. So we find the males' tracks quite regularly, but we don't actually see the sort of the, the evidence of them during the morning or the day because they've crossed through towards another pride so they're kind of bouncing between torchwood in kahuma sticks and that means that they're moving a lot and the sort of time that they're moving is generally during the evenings and so what we see is kind of well we hear a lot of them and we see a lot of their tracks but we're not actually able to see and find them which is sometimes very frustrating Very few buffalo at the moment, which means that the lions don't have really much to eat, and so spending time here trying to hunt is very, very difficult. And that's why we also haven't seen the Nkoma settling. And then the other theory is, and this is Herbie's theory, and I, I maybe kind of agree with him, and, and we've discussed it, I've discussed it and James, and it is an interesting topic, is that two of the Nkoma cubs died here during this drought from that white muscle disease. Now he's going to do a bit of scent marking. So you see he'll rub up his face, they didn't lift his tail. Isn't he looking magnificent though? They look amazing. And so with that white muscle disease, two of those cubs died. Now, the Inkahuma females won't really know what caused that. They'll just know that two of their cubs got sick and died. And there could be that feeling that this area is dangerous because their um, their cubs died in the area and therefore it's very, 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 very 